What's the worst thing your parents caught you doing as a kid? Story 24. When we were about six years old, me and a friend were having a contest seeing who could pee the furthest out the third story window. Some nosy lady from across the street ratted us out to his parents. I still think I won, but we didn't get a chance to check who peed the furthest. Story 23. When I was about seven, I was watching an episode of Pokemon. I had to pee but didn't want to miss anything, so I peed. In a trash can. I thought that was super clever at the time, but as soon as my mom got home, she could smell it, and 21 years later, she still remembers. Story 22. Told my mom I was going into the woods to build a fort. I went into the woods, but brought my Game Boy, which I was grounded from, and a supply of batteries. Played Pokemon out there for several hours next to a tree until my mom came out into the woods and found me. Big trouble for me. Story 21. Mopping slash painting the garage floor with oil and destroying a waterbed with steak knives. My brother and I were both under the age of five when these things happened. He's older than me by about a year and a half and made other horrendous messes before I could start participating in them including opening all the Kool-Aid packets onto the kitchen floor and emptying an entire can of Crisco onto the bottom few steps in the house. He was bad. Our younger brother is six years younger than me and was way worse in the mess department. He threw all my bottles of nail polish all over my room and destroyed most of my stuff so I wasn't allowed to have any more. He cut up most of our pictures from when we were kids. Remember when you could refill your own ink cartridges at home with a kit? He sprayed a whole pack of that stuff all over the living room, including the ceiling. Ruined the carpet completely. Story 20 when I was four, my parents were trying to potty train me, and they made me go around the house naked from the waist down, so I had to use the toilet. I shit on the floor, hid it under the couch when my parents walked in and blamed it on the cats. Story 19 I have a seriously distinct memory of this, despite being so young. So bear with me. I'd say I was around maybe four years old. Someone left a turd in the toilet, and I remember thinking it looked distinctly pickle-shaped. So in my young child mind, I thought, hey, hey. A pickle and went to grab it out of the toilet. I realized it wasn't a pickle when it squished between my fingers and my mom saw the excrement on my hands. She never brought it up to me when I was older, however. Story 18 As a teenager, I went through a phase of masturbating with my eyes closed with my earphones on full blast. What put a stop to this was the time I had finished the deed I opened my eyes, took the earphones off and noticed that there was a fresh maid, hot cup of tea on my bedside table. To this day, the thought that my mom brought me a cup of tea made wink mortifies me. Suffice to say, we have never spoken about it. Story 17 I don't know why, but as a kid, I would put my hand in my pants because it felt warm in there, not for any other reason. It happened unintentionally sometimes. One morning, I woke up to my parents looking at me concerned. I was confused until I looked down. As you can guess, my hand was in my pants, and I immediately took them out. My parents were crying laughing, but I was so embarrassed. That night, my mom gave me the talk. Story 16 I was probably five when this happened. I was wandering around my house looking for fun when I saw my dad shaving his beard with a razor. I had a crazy idea. When my dad was done with shaving, I grabbed it off the counter and ran outside to my pet dog. I started shaving my dog, and when I was halfway through, my mom spotted me through the kitchen window. TLDR I was bored, so I grabbed my dad's razor and shaved my dog and got caught. Edit Yes, it did grow back, but it took 14 full weeks to fully recover. Story 15 Two memories come to mind. The first one was when I was six or so. I was a fairly curious child and one day I took a giant poop. After I cleaned up, I decided to get a pair of gloves and dissect my poop to see what all was in it. My mom caught me and gave me hell about it all the way through adulthood. The second was when I had my first serious boyfriend over. I was 16 and my sister was three or four. Being a little kid, she always wanted to come into my room. My curious little sister was the only reason I was allowed to close my bedroom door when he was over. My boyfriend and I decided to fool around and pushed my beanbag in front of the door to slow down any intruders. Well, I wind up on my knees with his dick in my mouth and lo, and behold here comes my mom opening the door. She couldn't get the door opened all the way, but she saw enough. The next morning when she was driving me to school, she said very awkwardly, Honey, please don't put your beanbag in front of the door anymore. Story 14 When I was a teen, I would push my parents' car out of the driveway and go have fun. I always killed it and coasted back in. Did this for quite a while. One night, I was at a party and let my friend drive it back. We got pulled over and they impounded the car. My dad had no car to go to work in the morning. It did not go over well. Story 13 I heard the funniest story from my friend's mom. Apparently, she always loved to get her mom's purse and empty the content and play with whatever was in there. Her interest was mostly her mom's lipstick and makeup. 
Like every other little girl, once when they had just come back from a family trip, she opens the purse and finds a condom. She has no idea what it is. She opens it and thinks it's a balloon and amp, amp, starts blowing it. Mom comes to the room, condom in her mouth trying to blow it and she turns around and asks her mom why is the balloon so oily lol, it was obviously lubricated. Her mom snatches the condom off her hands and gets super angry, gives her a timeout and forbids her from ever touching her purse again. She said it was not until she was in her 20s that she remembered the memory and realized what that balloon was. Story 12 Less of a kid, more of a teen, but my dad walked in my room right after me and my GF got done doing the deed. I was standing, facing the door, cleaning myself up. His only word was wiener, while covering his eyes and shutting the door. <laughs> Story 11 I am a guy. When I was four, I was caught undressing my sister's Barbie by my mom. In my defense, I don't like the white dress it was wearing so tried to change it to red spare dress it had, which I like better. My mom's argument, what are you doing mid playtime? Away from your toys and looking at your sister's Barbie making it naked? I did not win that argument as I blamed the dog mid argument. <laughs> Story 10 I was probably like 5 years old and I was playing outside in the backyard by myself and things must have gotten crazy because I started kissing on the basketball hoop, the pole, and all of a sudden I hear my mom from the window go, I can see you. <laughs> Story 9 when I was about 7 or 8, I accidentally left the lid off of our dog food outside and it ended up raining that night. A coup days later it was infested with maggots. I didn't know how to kill bugs so products I deemed as harsh or dangerous went into the dog food maggot soup. They had doubled by the next day, so I figured I'll burn them out, poured some fuel for our weed whacker in and lit it up. The first initial flame was pretty impressive in size, but it scared me so I grabbed our hose and sprayed it down. Within a week it was bubbling in its own and hanging outside plants close to it stated to die. I eventually tried to move it. My mom came out saw me trying to move it and smelled the terrible concoction and decided to call the fire department. Ick if they misunderstood or thought it was currently on fire, but they sent two fire trucks for cop cars then guys in full body suits. They shut down our whole block for hours. First they thought we were trying to build a meth lab, then a bomb or something. I broke down and confessed everything to one of the officers. Thinking for sure I was going to jail, I apologized to my mom, hugged my dog, and gave her my favorite toy. Instead, I got a firm talking to buy several adults and I guess they had to take my toxic poison mixture in the middle of nowhere and bury it. I was in trouble for so long, and it became a funny story to tell. <laughs> story 8 This is a depressing story. So when I was a kid, I was around 7, I was really depressed. I'm not sure if I actually had depression or not. So what I did was I wrote on a bookmark, even God hates me, my stepdad found it and I got in trouble. Instead of being a loving dad and comforting me about my feelings, I got my ass hooped for being sad. This was one of the things that affected my life. <laughs> Please like and subscribe if you made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Wow, wow, wow. Story 7. My brothers and I used to suck each other's. We were very young at the time and had no concept of sex. We still showered slash bathed together at that time and as kids do wondered. What does pee taste like? which ended up with a penis in someone's mouth for science. I guess it felt good, and we did this a couple times until our parents caught us. I remember being very irate at the injustice of the punishment because no one had told us it was wrong. In retrospect, I can't blame them for freaking out. My mom worked late nights closing at a seafood restaurant and my dad worked long days as a sheet metal mechanic. For a few days a weeks it was dad's duty to feed my brother and I dinner and put us to bed. I was about six and he was about three. One night dad was exhausted and fell asleep on the couch before dinner. He was a deep sleeper. My brother and I raided the kitchen and basically destroyed about a week's worth of groceries. Flour and broken eggs all over the floor. Bread with peanut butter stuffed in the toaster. Melted popsicles and milk everywhere. We scattered food and liquids all over. Everything was smeared in some kind of goo. We heard mom get home and scattered. I think we pretended to be asleep in bed. My dad got screamed at then we got our asses whipped. <laughs> Story 6 so I was around 14 years old. I had just discovered porn on the internet and was home alone. Thing is, the only computer we had in the house was in the living room, and the living room was right in your face as soon as you would enter the house from the main entrance. So I was doing my stuff when I heard the key plays in the lock outside the door. I did not have time to put my pants all the way back up. My whole family entered the room to see me stare at nothing else than the window home screen. In panic, I just brushed it off and said, these pants are way too big, I think I need new belts. A few days later, I was shopping with my mom for new belts. I kept telling myself they bought my story, but now that I'm older, I just know they knew and it haunts me to this day. Story 5 some context first. I didn't know what prostitution was at the time, but I didn't know of the sex world due to finding out at a very early age anyways. I was playing GTA San Andreas and Amp, Amp, 
As most of you know, there's a feature that allows you to pick up hookers for a fun time looking back on it. It really hasn't aged well and just looks funny. So little 10 year old me just so happened to pick up a hooker in the game and I was busting a kid chub, but I didn't do anything. I was just admiring the sound effects that the prostitute was making. And then my mother walks in and says, stop doing that. Make it stop or turn it off. Scared the crap out of me and I quickly made CJ stop and game character. She didn't talk to me about it or explain why it was bad. She just walked in and saw what was happening and amp, amp told me to stop about the only time I got caught. Story 4 My mom caught me lighting my neighbor's house on fire. Edit So more people have wanted more detail on what happened so here it is so in our neighbor's yard. There is a tree that was right next to the house that also had low hanging branches. We were trying to light a campfire under those branches and the fire started to go too high. My mother got the fire out before any serious damage was done but still. Also, my most liked comment is about a crime I almost committed. Story 3 Stealing money. It wasn't much, but my friends convinced me that nobody would notice because it was such a small amount. So my idiot nine years self agreed. My mom found out and it was the only time in my over 20 years of life that my mom actually scolded me. And by that I mean she was really angry and most of all disappointed. I don't lie to my parents. That was the only time I tried to hide. In the hindsight, I would probably have told them out of guilt in a few days. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you why my friends convinced me to take some money. It was because it was one of the girls, who was the eldest, 14, I think, birthday and she wanted us to buy her a cake. Story 2 Stole a cookie lied about it. My dad found out he made me pay him five pound. I couldn't pay my friends back that five pounds. They are not my friends anymore. Tried to make friends, but tried too hard. Skipped tests, failed getting into college. Got a low end job. Noon will give me money. My life is a mess. Story 1 I used to pee in anything but the toilet. My mom caught me trying to pee into sinks, closets, trash cans, toys, air conditioning vents, a ficus, and my personal favorite off a second story indoor balcony. I was also caught searching butthole and asshole on the family computer when I was six, but jokes on you mom, I searched all the bad words. Those are just the ones you found. Yeah! Thanks for watching, and make sure to click the subscription button for more more and more Franken stories. Hope see you soon! Bye bye, Weston. Wow, bye.